Okay, so the camera clicked on when I wasn't expecting it. And I just finished up my uh, my pizza semi-rant. Um, needs and wants, delayed gratification, all that stuff. So let's get into it. Drinking some water. And that, by the way, is today's talking point. Um, the saying, water is wet. I've been hearing that, you know, where you're talking about just the obvious you have to learn things water is wet um, and in my estimation that's a very accurate thing to point out to people and I think it's a very um, beginning level sort of thing to show levels to people that water is wet I can show you the obvious but you have to learn that you can point at the lake all you want but until you feel what wet is then you won't you won't have the experience the personal experience but the problem with with uh, water being wet sometimes is that more than being wet, it's deep. That's the problem. Water, and I shouldn't say that's the problem, but that's where we we shortcut and we leave short that sa that statement, that saying. Water is wet, but it's deep, and in the wrong context, it can really take a lot of people under and that's what happens is people get in what do we say people get in over their heads that would be drowning you are drowning in debt there's a lot of like similarities between being immersed in water not being able to save yourself and these these sayings and real life happening so when people get in over their head that's the water being deep i can show you water is wet just by pouring some on your hand or letting you put your hand in it but that's not a true lesson sometimes you have to be able to understand what it, water is up to your neck up to here up to here and then have somebody be able to pull you out you know or show you like this is what real life is and unfortunately in real life circumstance you don't always have somebody to pull you out that's the trappings of it so there are some obvious things to some of these sayings and the lessons that come with them but we have to we have to delve into that we have to show that there's levels there's layers when we talk about water being wet what are what are the real consequences of actions so let's just take something like free speech you have the right to say what you want water being wet says somebody has the right to say i don't like your opinion um or just even being able to speak but there it gets a little deeper when somebody doesn't like your opinion it gets a little deeper when somebody attacks you for your opinion it gets a little deeper if somebody physically attacks you for your opinion it gets a little deeper if um, you are fined or incarcerated for your actions it, it, you know so there's levels it gets deep quick things can get deep quick water is wet what happens when you first get a credit card Okay, you got you got your water. Now you figure out it's wet when you start charging things. And it's, wait a minute, it's free money and somebody didn't tell you and now you are hundreds if not thousands in debt depending on your card. Okay, water is wet, you figure out, but there's it's deep. It's not that you just owe, you know, $50 over, or, you know, even a bank card that you went overdraft, you know, maybe one or two, you know, statements. It's when you realize, when you look in that sickening feeling where there's overdraft, 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 all to the tune of what is it now? Almost $35 a pop, $40 a pop. So before you know it, you've spent in, or you owe in, you know, overdraft fees more than you actually spent on the items that you overdrafted on. That's not just water is wet, that's water is deep. Relationships, so when we figure out you know, we can date and sex gets involved. Okay, you have sex and let's just say it goes it's, it goes fine, you know. But you somewhat get attached, uh, people get attached at times, that emotional bond. And so even if it's not, we will delve in. Let's just say, you know, STD or something like that. Now you figure out water's wet and there's an embarrassment to that. It, that's, a, that's a level, pregnancy. That's yet another level because a, a, a disease can, in a lot of cases, be cured. Whereas a baby, that's gonna be your lifetime. Now some diseases last a lifetime and unfortunately some children don't last forever. But 
generally in that order. That's how we would look at that. Um, and when you're just talking about the emotional attachment, sometimes those things end terribly because people can't get out of their feelings for having had sex. So again, there's levels, water's not just wet, it's deep. Sometimes, depending on how people react or what happens to you, water can be extremely cold too. So not only are you in deep water treading, but now you're experiencing forms of hypothermia depending on how cold the water is. Sometimes water is choppy. Sometimes water has predators in it. Sometimes water has an undertow or a current. So it's not always that water is calm either. It's just a thought, it's just my considered opinion. So guys, um, keep these things in mind. When you're talking, you know, surface level lessons and sayings, delve deeper into it. Not only for your own awareness and how maybe you can look back on some of you know your past uh, your past actions, um, consequences in life, just to know like that was a moment I was in over my head. That was a moment that the water was deep and cold. Sometimes water freezes, and when you hit it, it's just over. It's like hitting concrete. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of there's a lot of ways that you can spin what water can be other than just wet. So expand, expand upon that. As a matter of fact, I would like to hear, do you have any comments? Do you have that ace up your sleeve where it pertains to water being wet? What else can water be? Boiling, um, smashing against rocks, you know? There's a lot of things that water can be. Um, so advice, comments, experience on how water is not only wet, but more than that. Um, and again, hopefully this helps everybody practice their, uh, their practice upon their journey of total health, mind, body, and soul. And in the meantime, I'm just going to leave it at that. I've kind of rambled on for a while. So um, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.